morning. It is Monday, June 28th. It is 11.11 and it just switched to 11.12. I was doing, I, I, I was somewhere the other night and I was watching this woman dance and she, it was somewhat interpretive. It was at a gig actually. I was feeling a little, and she lift up her leg. It was a bit Tai Chi meets Martha Graham meets. And I thought I would try it with 1111. It didn't quite go the way I thought it would. But anyway, it is Monday, June 28th. And Lillian's sitting on a chair and I'm here in the library. And last night, Frank Malfitano, I loved it. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. I don't know if I'm here right this second. Let me check really quick. But um, I, I had such a great time with him, hanging out, talking. And if you saw the show, lucky us. Hey, Julie Luce, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Let me see, I'm trying to move this over here and it's not, I can't see who's here because I'm doing something different today because my phone is not charged. Yeah, he was great. Jeff Metzger, hey, are you are you full of emotion now? Mama Grace, good morning. William D. Lindemann. Yeah, Frank was really fun. And when he said, I knew he had presented Aretha because I saw one of the shows that he was a part of. And then when he said 17 times, I went, Frank Malfitano, you are. My mom doesn't like me to say it. Mom Jen. I had to whisper it. Mom Jen. I have this um model fan going on over here right now, so I'm feeling really over here, Jenna. Over here. Turn your head, Jenna. Look the other way. So what is happening? Well, it's Monday. It's the 28th. Mama Grace and Pa Ben were married June 30th. And I think this is your your 65th anniversary, Mom. I think maybe. So, anyway, that's what's that's what's happening here. Not a whole lot. Well, actually, there is. There's a a fence being built for Garabato uh, so that he can walk out further because he's in a smaller area. So that's happening today. That's that's a lot. And I'm going, oh, 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 you don't have, that's, Frank said that last night, I think it was afterwards, he said, I like the way that you and I can just be sitting here talking and you just go into song, I'm like, welcome to my brain, um, I have, I'm going through storage, I have storage, some people have baggage I have storage and I have really cool stuff I have bomb stuff stuff see it really you know the word really does it does work sorry grace um and I am going to start displaying them because I'm going to put them on Facebook marketplace and eBay and I thought Maybe someone on here might want to buy my stuff. So I think tomorrow morning I'll start doing that. And any show that there isn't another person here, I'll do it because I've got like, I have a San Francisco Monopoly game. I don't want it, but somebody does. You know, <laughs> Patty said you should, we could um, not auction, it was an auction it off. But what else do I have in there? Oh, I have an old telephone, really practical, but it's cool. It's from New York, New York City. And I can't remember right now, I'm keeping the Polaroid camera. But I have boxes of really cool stuff, Julie Luce. Oh, do I have boxes of cool stuff. Jewelry, glasses, like, oh, and I found eyeglasses. And you know what, I put them on. Like, why should I go get a new pair of glasses? These work just fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll use them until they don't work. But 
anyway. How are you guys? Hey, Michael Keel. Nice to see you. Lily and Pearl. Do you hear those people outside? She's like, wait a minute, there's, there's, a, there's a noise out there. So it is Monday morning. I meander here, as you can tell. Tomorrow, tonight, we will be meditating. Tomorrow morning, we'll be looking at stuff. Do, maybe we could have some music. And, oh, William, 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 before I forget. Dave has a really cool idea that I'm going to need your help with if you're interested in, if you choose to be a part of this story. Since we've done a year, right? Since March. 23rd, it's been a year, that we go back to a show on June 20, you know, today's June 28th. So go back June 28th and then play it a little bit from that show on the day. So we could pick some dates and just play it. But like I said, I could go probably to YouTube now share my screen and go look at a show, but I would set it up beforehand. Does that make sense? And then we could see what we were doing a year ago. I thought that was good. Brilliant Dave Love. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? Great idea. Great idea. So anyway. What's that? See, I have to, I need two screens. Is that? Lori Sokowitz. Oh my God. Lori Sokowitz. Lori, were you with me for that Monopoly? It was an, I went to the opening at FAO Schwartz for the Monopoly game. Did I, did, did you and Jeff come with me? Hi. Hi, Lori Sokowitz. Wow. Oh, I have. <sighs> no, I have storage, Jeff Metzger. I don't have baggage. I have storage. <laughs> There's a difference. Because there are a lot of bags in the storage, except they're actually boxes. This, this fan is making me thirsty. I'm, I'm not sure how to do anyway. Hi, Lori Sokolitz. Come hang out on my show. I do this show every day, seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. In fact, I talked to Jeff about having your daughter do some social um, media marketing for me. <clears throat> but I'd love to have her on the show as well. But you would be a blast on the show. Everyone has a story. And I have people on seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. And especially when I'm sitting here alone talking, it's really fun to have someone on. So if anybody feels like jumping on the Zoom this morning, please do. But hi, that's so cool. You can do that on the fly during your shows. If they're low, if they're uploaded, right? But how would I find date. We'll have to talk, William. Plus, I'll be back. I was thinking maybe it, on the fly is cool. Okay, I would do it on the fly. I was thinking maybe we planned it like, but on the fly, but or we could do Tuesday 2020, Tuesday, you know, June 29th, 2020. And then the next Tuesday, and then the next Tuesday. I don't know, because I was trying Ra Morocco. How you guys doing? Hey, Carol. Last night, Frank Mulfitano. So cool. I can't wait for him to come back. And next time he, he we were, we troubleshooted, troubleshot for about, I don't know, a good half hour, 40 minutes and had a blast talking because he couldn't get his mic, his, his Zoom wasn't working for sound. And then we, and then he doesn't have an iPhone because I was going to do it that way. And then we couldn't do it through Messenger because the sound still wasn't working. So we're figuring that out. And he will be on again. But 
Lori Sakowitz, you guys, Lori Sakowitz is super cool. She lives in New York and Connecticut. You're in Connecticut. Why did I say New York? She used to be in New York. She, she works in New York, but I bet she works in her home now, or she might be retired. I, I just flip out when people that I went to elementary school with are getting or are retired, retired or grandparents. I go, wow, you get to retire? <laughs> wow, I'll hang out with your grandkids sometime. Sometime. You know, when we're at a party or something. That's who I'll be hanging out with. The kids. Or the or the elders. I'm usually at the table with the oldest person in the room or I go hang out with the kids. Trouble. <laughs> don't say that, Gracie. You'll, Jenna, don't say shit on, on the show. Trouble shit is. <laughs> but if you didn't see last night's show, go ahead and check it out. And yeah, I have, what else do I have? Something else really cool. Telephone, I have this whole box that I started going, ooh, ooh, I think, ooh, I think I'm going to sell this. Oh, I think I'm going to sell this. And then I thought, I'll sell it, but I'll put it up on the show. It'll be like QVC, but J-E-M. Eleven Eleven store. I don't know. I'm not, I'm really creative at four in the morning. So I'll come up with a title. Unless someone comes up, I'm open. Rob Morocco. I'm just look, like I found this. Oh, I found this nightlight that's a moon that I think I'm going to keep though. Unless someone really, really, really wanted it. You can talk. Wrap, 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 wrap it up. I'll take it. Wrap it up. I'll take it. How are you, wrap? What is going on? JCM, shopping with Jenna. Yeah, keep them coming, keep them coming. Rob Morocco, Jeff Metzger. I sure missed you on Saturday morning, but I really needed full attention on to um, Virginia's funeral. And it was odd not to be here, especially when I jumped on that night. I was like, gosh, I haven't done this in like a week and a half. Jenna's treasures. Jenna's jewels. I have a bunch of jewelry. So much jewelry. Who wants jewelry? Jeff, do you need any jewelry? Steph, do you need any jewelry? Do you want some jewelry? I'm creating a box for the Moroccos right now because speaking of magnets, does anybody still want to buy a magnet? Having a Zoom thing would work. Oh. You know what? Well, what? I'm trying to move this over. Can't move it over. Oh, cool. That's funny, William. That's really funny. Super funny. <laughs> we could just call Jenna's. It's, you know, how some people they go, I can't really see because they don't have the glasses on. I find it hard to concentrate with fan because the fan, it, it must mess my aura up or my brain or something. Because this fan, I would love it, but I'm like, I can't think. I just can't think. But it's groovy. So there are nine of you here. Thank you. Good morning. But yes. What with gems with Jenna? No, gems with a J. Gems with Jenna. Daddy, you might be onto something. You don't? I mean, I need it because it's like a thousand degrees. Not like it is in Canada. You guys, yesterday, 116 Fahrenheit in Edmonton, in, right in, did your plants survive? Oh my goodness, all those beautiful flowers that Carol planted. They, are they like, I've been in Arizona before and have seen mailboxes melted. So I can only imagine. 
gems with Jenna. Gems from, gems from Jenna, just gems. I do Gem Fest. It's another music festival that I produced. Interesting. Yeah, the fans. Fan like kind of, yeah. <laughs> Air fans, I get it. It's needed. But rap, rap, rap. Tower fans, yes. Yeah. Tower fans are kind of one hundred and sixteen. One oh one. Wow. Yeah. That's what's going to happen here today. But there's nothing wrong. We didn't mess up anything in the world, did we? So what's everybody eating, drinking, thinking, doing today? Monday, meandering. Anybody? Anything? I'm just meandering. I'm sitting here in the library. I had to show books just now in the library. There's the bean. Chicago. Coffee. Black. Coffee in bed. Hey, now she's gone. And I'm out with some friend. What? Out with a friend. Out with a friend. Mm -hmm. Here's my friend. Don't mess around. Stoked oats. He's all stoked with the oats. Blueberry pop tart. Oh my God. Goodness, Laura Sarkowitz, that's my favorite. If there was ever a Pop Tart, oh, I love blueberry to Pop Tarts. If I could eat that now, I would eat 10 of them. Five packets, right? What did you get? Banana. Nice. Lori Sarkowitz, you're hanging with some very cool people right now. And I'd like to introduce you to Julie Luce, Rob Morocco, William D. Lindemann, Patty Lohman. Jeff Metzger, Mama Grace, who else is here? Because now I can't see all the comments because. For real? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Julie Luce. Hey. <laughs> Unmute thyself. Can you unmute? Let's see. Did we do it? Did we no, do it? We did. Okay, now I need unmute to. Unmute thyself. Uh, my microphone's unmuted. My video stopped. Now, oh, now where'd I go? Can you unmute? I'm trying. Let's see. Did we do it? Did we no, do it? We um, my microphone's unmuted. My video stopped. <laughs> uh, oh, now where'd I go? Let's see. You need to lower the other thing. Yeah, I'm going to, I, I will try to find it. Did you cut your hair? I, I, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Disastrously. <laughs> it's really short. Oh, I A like little it. shorter. Yeah, Thank exactly you. Exactly. Thank you. Let's see if I can get this other, there. The other things. Don't, okay. So now am I? Muted, unmuted. <laughs> yeah, and then only one other thing. Can you turn your camera to landscape? Yes, right. Are you better? Your cool place. Okay. Oh, so right now it's it's kind of still a mess, but uh, well, it's yeah, it's really moved mess. into her apartment. So it's it's messy, boxes and everything. But this is my view when you walk in my little kitchen, and this cool. is my little my <gasps> little couch area, and this is where maybe i'll bring my dining room table back i don't yes. know yes yes <laughs> anyway yes. but because it's my grandmother's antique and i was thinking of getting rid of it but again. Maybe, uh, 
Pardon? May I see that area again? Oh, sure. Where yeah, the dining with, room. Uh -huh. See, and there's empty boxes right here, but right now it's, I mean, it's, it's actually fairly decently wide That's and I, it's, I've got a hope chest in here and an antique thing. So we'll, but what's so pretty is I'm really excited about outside too. So anyway, but that's, let's see. So this is, this is out my front door. And this is a little, so there's a little pool and look flowers. I have flowers, Jenna. There's flowers and roses and trees. And right now, right now I am driving, um, I know you're gonna laugh at this. Can you see the little red Jeep over there? Yeah, little red yeah. Jeep. Yeah. The little red Jeep, yeah, that was Steve's little red Jeep. Oh, okay. And so I got it uh, back from the kids. I'm borrowing it back since I don't have a car and I had a horrible experience with the rental company after one day. And then this is the grassy area that I look out on. Look at all those flowers. I know. Isn't it pretty? Oh, and all the white. I've got white roses, tea roses, and that's the pool area. Now, is the pool open? Yes, it is. It is. So people usually go, I find, in the evening. You take your own chairs. I haven't gone over because, A, I'm too busy, and B, I'm not ready to do that. But And then the other thing I was going to tell you, um, a hey, friend of mine address? that I've grown up with. What's my what? What's your address? Is that a one and a one that I see? Oh, yes, I'm I'm a 101. Is that on the door? 101. 11, yeah. Julie. <laughs> 11, and they, they put they put in a security screen door for me. So I'm excited about that oh, brand new door. I love security. I mean, I, yeah, I know. I, I, so I've had some really nice breezes in the morning that I've opened it up before it got hot. So that's exciting. Then I do have my grandmother, my grandmother's other secretary desk that I haven't haven't put anything in yet because I don't know where it all is. Well, it's in three different places. But anyway, um, what I wanted to let you know, and I just didn't want to type it all in, another uh, friend whose family has a cabinet dinky is going to drive up for a couple hours today. And she asked if I wanted to drive along with her. So cool. yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to drive up maybe around 10 o'clock and then we'll be home um, late afternoon, probably. So oh, fun. Yeah, so I'm excited to see that. And then I saw that my sister that lives in New Orleans must be driving to California because um, because I've been off Facebook for, you know, a week or so. Um, I when I popped on the other night, she was walking down the street in Colorado holding my grandchildren's hands. I'm like, oh, she's in, she's with my son. <laughs> wow. So I didn't, I didn't know that. So I'm assuming she's driving to California and, and going to the mountains too and visiting her friends in the Bay Area and Monterey. You won't see her? Um, so I may, I may get to see her. So anyway, you never know. You never know. So yeah. Yeah, sometimes I do. Last year, I got to see her for a few minutes at breakfast. She had just been evacuated from Dinky when the fires came. And so I met her with um, uh, Justin, my son that I live with right now. We met up for breakfast before she um, got on a plane to fly back to um, New Orleans. But she ended up being evacuated from three different locations, Dinky, then she went to Balch Camp and then that got evacuated. And then she went, um, I think toward um, toward uh, Aubrey, and that got evacuated too. So she was pretty done with the evacuations. Yeah, we had our first oh, warning on our phone on oh, Sunday. No. That was scary. Kelseyville, which is 10, eight, 10 miles away. Right. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a scary sound that uh -huh. warning you get on your phone. Uh, 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 and you're like. What, what, what? Yeah. And yeah. as the crow flies 10 miles away, it's not far enough. Far, not yeah. far. Fire, mm -hmm. fire moves fast, but it, um, it, but they were able to contain the fire quickly, which was wonderful. That's wonderful. A really yeah. sweet town. I love yeah. Kelsey. In fact, I'm going there today. 
Rama. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And, and Canada with the heat wave up there, that's unbelievable. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. Got to have the, the fans. I think it's only going to be, I say only 106 to 108 here today. And it was, I think it was 53 this morning when I got up earlier. And in Vegas, it was already like 93. So they're, they're cooking with Crisco for sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The, the dinosaurs must have known something we didn't. <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll figure it out. So you need anything, Julie? I, um, yeah, right. Are you, you've seen how many loads? Uh, here's a funny story, though. I, as the last thing I needed to do was, uh, was bag and box my closet the day we are moving out, the very last day. So I've got Justin, his girlfriend, and my friend Mary all standing there. And we're putting it in, in bags, like putting bags over it so we could just come hang it at the new place. And then as I was pulling it out, I was going, no, let's donate, donate, donate. So when I came to hang everything up, I talked to my friend Mary because we didn't have time to take it to um, the cancer center to donate that day. And it was a Sunday, Father's Day. I, I said, um, I think I need to go through those clothes again. When I came home, I only had um, one pair of slacks. There must be more slacks in those donation bags. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's pretty funny. Either that or just, and they're still in her garage. So I go, we either have to go through those before we donate them or um, sometime down the road, I'm going to have to buy a couple more pairs of slacks. <laughs> oh, well, it's cool. Go through them because there might be something in a pocket. Yeah. Oh, trust me. There was something in a pocket. I did find a, a couple dollars in a pocket. <laughs> That was exciting. Yeah. 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 So anyway, that's, that's we went to dinner. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I found some money. Um, Let's go to yeah. dinner. Right, right. It's, Patty yeah. says, yeah, the rain in the Midwest. Rain, 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 rain. Oh, <clears throat> unbelievable. I go home to really uh -huh. tall grass, I have a feeling. Uh-huh. Yes. You, you know, know my, brother, my brother Mitch takes care of my lawn while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Um, you know, after all that rain, it gets it all of a sudden just have yeah but. knee high <laughs> yeah knee high well and i have a push well, i just didn't i just wanted to let you know what was going on oh, and I love say it. Hi. are you gonna are, yeah. are you going to put things up on the wall like, um yeah. you know me i have more more paintings and pictures than a man should have a right to and um they're in my garage i did donate um several already i i in fact the cancer center the after two days, uh, stopped accepting our donations because they ran out of room. <laughs> but they have my mother's, some of my mother's dishes, four boxes of my mother's dishes, two huge wolf paintings, uh, another one, my our antique five generation baby bassinet we sent. I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't send it to Goodwill. So, um, because they just throw it in the bin and, and that would break my heart. So um, we just sent that to the, um, the center and then, um, and then we'll do clothes because some of the clothes still, you know, have price tags hanging on them because you didn't necessarily get around to wearing them. So, um, I don't know. I found my boys would do that a lot. Oh, but we gave that to you for Christmas. You haven't taken the price tag off and it's been three years. <laughs> Time to let it go. Yeah. I'm not one. Yeah. To so anyway, but that was good. Things, so I understand. Yeah. Because yeah. I so they'll and they'll be classes. more, hmm? yeah. What? So what there'll be more that I need to let go of. That's what I'm doing but this week anyway. That's I know, and 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 looking at it in memories, and then I I looked at it as I put it in the boxes to pack, and a lot of them are cards and and notes, and then as I unpack it, I'm looking at them again. So it's like oh, <laughs> double dose. <laughs> Anyway, lots easy. of cards. Yeah, but good memories and, and you know, and then well, sometimes can you, can you a little. Tell us your address. Um, do I want to do that on, do I want to do that on the air? No, I guess you don't. Oh. <laughs> you have a P.O. box? No, I don't have a P.O. box. 
I have an actual physical address. And did I not fan of the PO box? Okay. Yeah. And I don't know that. And my, my mailbox is like straight up the walkway past the pool. It's very close in the other direction of where the, the Jeep is. And so we have an assigned carport and then we're renting a little garage right behind the Jeep. So I've, I've been already this morning wheeling in and out of there. Plus we have a 20 by 30 storage we need to uh, empty. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> mine, and, is, mine was five by five, but um, yeah, 20. Yeah, that's a lot, but it's you yeah. and your son. Uh, no, no, unfortunately it's just mine. <laughs> well, he just like me, own. I had a big house. Yeah. I had a big house. I have lots right. of books. I have lots uh-huh. of beautiful treasures and oh, things. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But I have From two all friends all coming over today. Okay. One friend who's home, she lost her home in the fire two years mm-hmm. ago, three years ago now. So she's coming over today and I'm going to give her some stuff. And then I have another friend that's going to come over and I'm going to give her some stuff. So. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. My friend, Mary, um, she just turned 83 and, and she was so helpful. I got to use her car and I was taking loads out to her car and I came back in and she's scrubbing the bathtub. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> She just has been such a trooper and she used to watch my dog busy when I would go to Colorado and now she's uh, watching Justin's cat temporarily and uh, temporarily since April. But (laughs) um, anyway, uh, where was I going with this wonderful story? Um, But she she's been just so helpful and 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 doing that. She was my moral support, I think, getting through the the physical stuff and and she sit down and and I want to have her do simple things like not scrubbing my tub and they go oh I think I have a little bag of shred these bills that have come in you want to just sit here and just like mark out the address <laughs> and do that but yeah so that was that was real good and then Justin's been amazing and his girlfriend um, helped a lot and so between the the four of us we kind of got it done so anyway yeah thanks so now it's just getting it getting it together and and finding (laughs) i went to walmart and bought a little tray of nine dollar silverware because i don't know where my silverware is yet well nor do i know where the pots and pans are i do have a couple plates (laughs) and two glasses (laughs) so i have plates and glasses if you need them okay yeah thanks Uh yeah yeah, and I'll have to, now that I do have an actual address, and I don't know if I sent that to you in a text message yet or not, but um, yeah, I have to, I have to get magnets because my refrigerator here actually is magnetic on the front and I can put things <laughs> and won't have to tape them to the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. That means a lot of art goes on the fridge, huh? Right, Yeah. Yeah, because I had the girls, you know, we had 11-11 with Jenna that the girls made over Christmas. So I saved all that. It came with me. <laughs> cool. I was looking at photos. Well, I did one of those, if you've seen on, on Facebook, the photo book. Uh-huh. Of, of, they said it was a decade. Well, it wasn't a decade. It was the year. But um, some of the photos that came up were of you and the girls, of, of you making... Okay. Um, snowflake right right and then the girls there's there's a photo of each one of them in it that was really Uh oh that's cute yeah and there was one that i i actually went back and it had um gizzy walking through the scene a couple of times so so, yeah yeah. the video Uh that uh-huh yeah i played that yeah i played that several times it was like oh there's my little buddy that you did yeah wow so what's on the what's on the agenda for today? Okay, so at um, about ten, I think my friend's gonna drive over. She lives in Carruthers, which is out um, south of town a little bit. I don't know if you're. Do you know where Fowler is? Or yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's gonna be east uh, west of Fowler, out in the farming community. So she'll come into town, come up forty one and uh, ninety nine, and grab me, and then we'll drive up to her cabin and put some stuff at her cabin at Dinky and have a little lunch and shaver. I think at the little hamburger, it's called hamburger hut. It's just a little hamburger joint and then come back down the hill. So it'll, that'll be nice. Get out of, get out of town for, you know, just a little bit and 
not be. Are driving. you going to stop by your place at all? Yeah, because um, it's just one road in, and so you pass my cabin, and her cabin is like two over on the right on the same road. Yeah, so I'll Will see. Will you go I'll in, see. check it out, do anything? I don't. I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want to stir the hornet's nest or not. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. My um, the sister that lives in California told me she called last week and said, um, "Hey, you know the cabin's open if you want to go up next weekend and stay." And um, I thought about it, and then they were starting a new series at church yesterday uh, called the you know the half truths, like God only gives you as much as you can handle, and uh, God help uh, helps those who help themselves, you know. But it's like my theory, this is just my personal theory, is God doesn't give us, um, it's not more than we can handle. It's like, whatever comes across in our life, God walks with us as we go through that. So it's, he's not giving us, you know, um, more than we can handle. So anyway, that's just my thought, but that's a beautiful so it was a really good series that started yesterday. I'm really glad I went. And then uh, I went to lunch with my my ex neighbor that I used to go to church with all the time. And so um, we were first time inside. We were over by ourselves in a little nook at uh, Chili's. And that well, was I was going to ask you to Chili's. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. We went to Chili's. So that was really nice. Did you have a margarita? Um, yes, a sangria margarita. Mm -hmm. Very sangria interesting. Yeah, margarita. Yeah, yeah. Chili's uh -huh. is super creative with their margaritas, I have they to certainly say. They certainly are. They, they certainly really are. So that was fun. We did that. And anyway, so then I puttered some more. And I'm so glad for those little glides you put underneath your furniture. I, oh. I don't know. I had a, a set of four that I had under my roll top desk that's too big to be here also. And for some reason, I brought them to the apartment. Well, on, let's see, I think Friday night, I rearranged my bedroom. I can't tell you how many times. That's an entertainment center and two dressers and and I would just and a oh and a wing chair and I would um I I took the dr the drawers out of everything and then I put the glides underneath and I rearranged so many times it's like oh yeah I like it and no I don't okay I like it fun. yeah it was fun just praying that the television didn't fall over right now that's the only place I have a tv is in there because I gave my big home entertainment television went out the door because like there was nowhere to put so anyway, but that's what it is. So I've been reading a book more and watching you now, finally. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. So, I'm glad you I'm definitely here. missed. Thank you. I, one, okay. way, one day I just thought, I went, Julie hasn't been there, but I knew you were moving, but it's unlike you to not be there for that right, long. Right, so. and I still, and you have to laugh because we talked about passwords and it, uh, and then I had to download an app on my phone to get the television and the Wi-Fi, it's some all new. I'm just like, thank goodness for Justin because an hour and a half me trying to do it by myself was not very pretty, <laughs> and yeah. it still took a, an hour or more, you know, with him back and forth, room to room. And the remote they gave us for the, they sent two boxes, two different size boxes because I had to pick up new equipment that I did not like, still don't like. But anyway. Um, the remote that they put in the one box did not go with that box. So we had to open up the other box of a different type of um, uh, receiver and use that remote. Go you figure. Mean, you mean Comcast? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> that would be the one. <laughs> did they, also, you ask them to come back out? They should have come back they out. Didn't, yeah. Free. They didn't come. I picked up all of the equipment and um, thinking that we would get it done faster. So, but anyway, we got it done and, and saved, saved the, the service call fee. Right. So that's good. And then maybe if Justin gets his television out of his storage, he goes, it's good, mom. I know where the TV is. The problem is I can't get to my remote. Ooh. <laughs> it's in a dresser drawer buried behind his sofa. So anyway, but you know, that's, that's a minor thing in the, in the world today, in my opinion, right? <laughs> I don't own a TV, but yeah, I, right. I understand. But I yeah. understand. Yeah. That so it's, it's no big deal. I don't remember where it is. It's in a it's in a container inside a drawer. Uh-huh. But yeah. 
Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. But it, so it was very, very quiet at night. You know, I would just read for the first week um, because I hadn't even gotten my, my little, uh, I have a, a stereo. It's, it's, um, it has a turntable. Yeah. And a CD player. And I think also, uh, I can't remember if it plays cassettes or not, but Steve had given that to me years and years ago. I love Christmas. It's a little, like one little compact. Yes. Thing. Yes. Perfect. With the two, the two speakers. So that's what I, mean, I you know, Rocky play would, on. would laugh at. Yeah. It, but... Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Not, not anywhere in, in that league. And then, uh, so the one speaker's inside, one speaker's in the garage. I think that the whole unit's in the garage and it just never quite made it in. And yet, so it was very okay. quiet in here at night. <laughs> Just turn on a fan and we felt okay. <laughs> Read a book. I'll, I'll need to get you. Um, oh, tonight is meditation. You know, I Ellen has that. a CD, you guys. A really nice CD. Ellen mm -hmm. Hoffman. She'll uh -huh. be hopefully playing tonight. Because nice. I'll do, I think Rob's going to jump on and we're going to look okay. at the paintings. Oh, yes, I saw and, that. And then... Good. We'll do a meditation and then okay and then ellen will take us out okay cool very yeah. nice okay well i should be there i'll be home definitely by then <laughs> and how long are you on vacation um we go back um somewhere around the mm, 8th of august it's earlier this year really oh, early it's not my niece's school they're starting in july no <gasps> why Oh my gosh. But she got out in May. Yes. Yeah. 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 We got out in June, but the 11th. Yeah. July. That's horrible. That, that's just wrong. Pretty soon it will be like, like every other business, you know, you'll have two weeks off um, for. Well, in a way, I, I, I know of schools that do full year schooling. Right. Uh -huh. Makes sense. You know, when you're nine years old and you have three months off, what are you going to do? Play. Like, unless you're, well, what if you're, you know. Right. You unless you're and stuck. Yeah. Yeah. I will see. And I guess it was different for me because I got to spend my summers in the mountains and I never saw Fresno. I didn't know what it was like. And I missed my, all my orientations. I didn't make a junior high orientation. I didn't make a high school orientation. I, yeah. Yeah. Still, you know, scrub and pitch off the bottom of your feet Monday night before school started after Labor Day. So it's, uh, I was blessed. It was a whole different world for me growing up in the summers. Yeah. And we had outdoor movies and, you know, penny candy and hay rides. And so it's, it's not like that anymore up there, but you know, you go to the Creek or you hike or, you know, you hang out and play board games or cards, you know, we love, you know, games. So I would, I would fit right in when I went up, you guys would have to teach me your games. So, but Come on up, yeah, I know. so that would, that would be, um, we love doing that. You know, we'll go to, we'll take turns and go to different cabins and, oh, and wow. play games in the afternoon, say from two in the afternoon until four or five. And, and then go home or sometimes we'll potluck together for for dinner or it's just it's nice and usually 20 degrees cooler at dinky than it is in fresno so i think it's going to reach about 80 today maybe which is pretty warm for dinky but stay cool in the car stay safe too yeah for sure all you right have, well, you have your triple a card i do i do i do you know <laughs> the, the new card is what is a five-year card Really? No, yeah. I think mine is up in August. So I'll mine find is that. Valid. You'll get oh, your new one in August. You'll get it. It'll be valid through 2026. Nice. Well, and I learned if you don't have your card, you can call them and they'll email or text you a copy of your card. Nice. So that if yeah. you're, you know, you stranded. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very yeah. nice. I learned a lot about AAA this month. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, I learned that I will never rent a car from Hertz. And I will never <laughs> rent sure a car. Did. Oh my gosh. And you know, I and the weird thing is is while we were at Chili's yesterday, they were doing a special on OJ Simpson and they were running some of his Hertz commercials. And I'm like, 
oh my gosh, no. But that man was so condescending and so rude. And, and then to pay me in $6 of quarters and stack them up on the counter in piles of four, I was, I mean, you I was- You might get fired for that. Mortified. Well, apparently I'm not the first one that had a concern. So when I, and I went back, I had the car, I had the car maybe 10, 10 hours. And I took it back the very next morning, took a friend's husband with me because I knew I was going to get more of the same treatment. Yeah. And they took me, the manager took us in the office. We talked to him. He talked to his general manager. They ended up refunding all my money. And um, yeah, I didn't think I was because he charged me an extra twenty four dollars and it wasn't supposed to be for me. The insurance was paying for everything up to six hundred dollars and he charged me twenty four dollars over the five hundred dollars he was putting in the computer. I'm like, why? What's going on? It made me go home and get verification of my address to match my driver's yeah. license. And so four hours later, I had a car yeah. that had been broken into and you could see the uh, I took pictures and somebody wedged the top of it. So it's like, you know what, after sleeping on that, I'm taking it back. It's not worth the, the trauma of keeping that car. Yeah, so they offered me anything else car. I wanted to drive. And I said, nope, not as long as that man works here. I will never rent a car from your, your business. Good. So anyway, that was the scoop. So here I am driving Steve's little red Jeep again, but Josh, Managed to it. fix the air conditioning. So I have air conditioning for the first time ever in that car. And I didn't know it had air conditioning working. And I took it and got it smog the other morning. So it passed smog. And so he can register, re register it because it's due in August. So it was, it's been a busy three days dealing with cars that weren't mine. <laughs> but well, and now hopefully, it's, yeah, it's hopefully I'll get car. mine back. So anyway, all right. Well, everyone oh. have a delightful day. And they're going to fix your car? Well, supposedly they're going to fix it up to a certain point. And then I heard that they're going to send it to a muffler shop to weld the part on because they don't want to pay for a new part. I'm thinking there's a three inch gap of pipe. I had that three inch gap. What, what, it, how are you? I don't know. I just want it back. I want it to be able to run. I want them to, the bad guys to leave it alone and not do it again. Um, but, uh, and I, I smogged it in, in March, so I'm good for two years. We'll see what happens in two years. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So it would be nice if they get rid of the smog thing and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. And then they wouldn't be stealing this stuff. Maybe we wouldn't have catalytic converters to rip off. So really anyway, well, I'm, I'm in the same, I, I look at my car all the time and go, oh, still there the catalytic converter still there i never i thought they'd steal the car way before they'd steal you know whatever but i mean i club my car for crying out loud they everybody laughs at me you know i would walk out and go okay no broken windows good car still in the in the parking stall good um yeah but didn't dream in 15 minutes they'd rip out my catalytic it converter during a pit stop but oh well Crazy. we survived that too right <laughs> all right well tell everybody mm -hmm. hi give your mother a hug pat lily and pearl tell lisa and katie hi i'll tell them i'm okay. lillian looking at me right now yeah she's going mom aren't we going outside before it gets too hot <laughs> right it's yeah a, it's it's 81 right now okay so all right okay all right. All right. Well, bye, Thanks, everyone. Julie. Thanks for letting me pop on. Bye, Julie. Bye, everyone. My sister bye. just didn't. Oh, I'm just, no, no, I'm not really just. Hi. Are you kidding? Hi, Lisa. Yeah, look at me. I look awesome. I just going. <laughs> I was outside. We're doing some new fencing today. Fencing oh, project. that's what I How's heard. Your new, your new place true. is going. Oh, it's going. It's going. I'm that's so true. excited to be here. It's just oh, everything wow. is brighter and cleaner uh -huh. and and flowers i'm so excited about flowers <laughs> oh good that's the best yeah. every yeah, morning I, get, I yeah, yeah. You, you, you get up to see what flowers overnight and what the magic brings huh right absolutely it makes you smile every morning yeah for sure yeah. nice to see you julie nice seeing you lisa have a great day
Hi, everyone. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't know who's here now. I think and I can't see anyone here. here. No. Pat is here. Okay. Well, I'm going to, if I can figure out how to sign off again, I'll do that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Julie. Okay. All right. See you this that, evening. That, that made Monday meandering way okay. more fun. Well, it was, uh, well. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Julie. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Julie Luce, everybody. Okay, well, I guess it's time. Yeah, they do. <laughs> she said hi, everybody. Lisa said hello. She's just waving right now. She carried the, that fan downstairs. Now that the show's over, the fan is gone. I guess the show's over. I feel all windblown and like, wow, my brain is kind of that does that you know those ha lily and pearl are you my girl you want to come say hi come here okay i'll come come here come on she would usually jump from there you go come here baby girl oh it's my girl come on one two three come here say hi what mama i'm shy today i'm very shy Hi. She's my girl, my Lillian Pearl. And I'm sticking to her. All right, kids. See you tonight. We will be meditating. We will be right there. Oh, there you go. Shake it all up. Shake it all up. Rob Morocco with Carol. Carol is going to show her paintings tonight. Yes. And then we'll do some meditation. And we'll do a listening with Ellen, and it'll be beautiful. And tomorrow morning, I'll have treasures, gems, gems, gems. And tomorrow night, Dr. Andrew Rader. Wednesday morning, making and baking with Patty. Wednesday night, cookies and cocktails, maybe. Thursday morning, maybe more treasures. Thursday night, conversations with the creatives. And Friday morning, Armando Ortega. Friday night, display and share. Saturday morning, Jeff Metzger. One more Saturday morning with back. He's been such a trooper. There have been things that have happened on his show that he needed to, you know, improvise. And it worked so well. And I just realized how bright this light is. It's light to me, but wow. Well, that's really dark. Anyway, one more Saturday night with Gary Lambert. Sunday morning, we'll be chilling. Sunday night. Musician square table, Monday morning, meandering, just like today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, huge hug. I'm so happy that Lori Sokowitz stopped by. If you're still here, hey, let's talk. We're Scorpios, sisters. Julie Luce, I'm so happy for you. We're all so happy for you. It's super cool that you're in your place. This is for you, Julie. Healthy thoughts honorable words and a heart filled home mama grace i'll see you in 30 seconds or less everybody else see you when i see you thanks so much for being here where where are you where are we oh. for being here everybody have a beautiful day love hard really hard